Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Flux. Last episode we made our way to the power plant and we discovered it's been overrun with alter Pokemon and just wild Pokemon everywhere. So we teamed up with Asta, took down one of the alters, got the key. So now I'm going to switch with uh, Terra and uh, have her as our partner for a little bit. And we're going to take down the other alter Pokemon. We've got the code, well Asta found the code which is 1495 which we can put over here. And then go through this door. Let's put the code in. And it is 1495. Nine, five, beep. All right, in we go. Oh, I like how that goes up. So nice, the door unlocked. Let's see what's inside. Also, the older Pokemon we caught last episode, oh, it was amazing. Love the evolution. We caught a bunch of a Pokemon as well. Got PP up, sweet. Our team is looking, is it TM? Oh, wow, what is that? Oh, that looks awesome. Oh. Okay, so we've got a nice little uh, Medi Light, which we already caught one and got the evolution of. The evolution is so sick. But this, this looks so good. What is this? Carmillary? I love the look of this. That's gonna be Bug Electric, right? Oh, that's so cool. All right, so let's um, go for a Bulldoze. Oh, okay, that's that's fine, that's fine. I feel kind of bad going for those, but, uh, you know. At least I didn't take out Terra's Pokemon. I was taking out Asta's Pokemon. Oh my god, what is this? That's with the evolution of that, uh, that little thing we caught, like, in the forest, right? Or, yeah, it was the forest? Yeah. I'm gonna keep going for Bulldoze, because I think we'll do some damage. At least, like, lower his speed a bit. Here, keep going. I might go for an Ice Fang, this is what we can do there. Double bug, okay, yeah, it's definitely got to be. Ouch. Bug, bug electric. Not a big fan of bugs ever, but I'm not going to lie, this. I like this. This is a cool looking bug. Oh, critical hit, nice. Another crit, hey. Keep going. Not bad, not bad. Right, another Ice Fang. Do we live this? No, we don't live it. It's fine, it's fine. All right, if you're Bug Electric, that means we can go for a nice fire move, which should be super effective. Guess what we've got is Flame Charge. We're going for a Flux move. Hopefully finish you off. All right. Flux, Sharp Flame. Go on, finish it off. Nice, hey. Now we can catch it. If I get lucky, that is. Uh, Nipples for bugs, right? Yeah, water and bug type Pokemon. Come on, let me capture this. No, oh, that sucks. Oh man, I really thought that Nipple might be good enough. It's all good though. So we've got Reactor Key C. So now we just need Reactor Key A. Ooh, that was a good fight. Nice job, Foxy. Looks like I dropped a key too. So we need three of those keys to access the generator. So let's keep it up. I wonder if there's anything else we can do while we're here. I see a flash on the screen. Label on the switch reads, Coolant Release. Ah, yes. So that will lower the water level then we can get to the Magnemite. Foxy, what did you do? Hmm, hope you knew what you were doing. Then again, it's not like the power plant can get much more broken than it already is. Either way, I think we're done here. Come on, let's see if that switch you uh, pressed changed anything. Sounds good. Alright, let's get out of here. And that room is just down the bottom left. And we should hopefully be able to run straight to the Magnemite. Which, uh, if we're about Magnemite, that should be very easy for us. As long as it doesn't have Levitate. If it has Levitate, that's going to suck. Yeah, we can go down. The water level dropped. Maybe we can make it to the other side now. Only one way to find out, but we've got an Ultra Ball, nice. I've had that Ultra Ball for the, uh, the older Pokemon just a second ago. I definitely would have used it. 
Oh, oh. oh I've got to say, I do love being able to run like diagonal. It's so good. So, so good. Every game needs this now. It's, so, it's just uh, it's amazing. We've got water pulse. Sweet. And then we've got an item here. Got some safety goggles. Now let's go and destroy this Magnemite. Alright, I'm pretty sure these things... Can Magnemite? Yeah, Magnemite can get Levitate, can't it? Just hopefully it hasn't got one, so we can just uh, hit it with Bulldoze. Wait, hey, nice, look at that damage. <laughs> Sorry, Tara, be taking your Pokemon out a little bit, but it's worth it. Nice. And we'll go for one more Bulldoze, and that actually might... Oh, snap, never mind. You got a crit on me. Well, then. Here, I was thinking I was going to easily win this. <laughs> never mind. But let's go for a Rock Smash. Nice. Defense drop. Hey, we got the defense drop. You'll love to see it. Ooh, just living, just living. Uh, should we go for a flux move? Defense is down. Hopefully finish you off. Yeah, man, easy. Ooh. Well, I'll catch a Magnemite, why not? Don't really mind if I get this or not. If it's got a new evolution, awesome. If not, then it's just, you know, we'll just stay in the box. Just add that extra Pokemon to the Pokedex. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I should have a reactor key A. Brilliant. Alright, so now we can go and uh ooh, do what needs to be done. I feel like there's gonna be like one more ultra Pokemon somewhere, but nice, we beat it. Looks like it dropped the key too. Three of these keys should be enough to access the generator code. Let's go. All right. Oh. All right. Yeah, I feel like there's gonna be like one more ultra Pokemon just like uh, protecting the generator, which uh, I'm down for. Nice, nice strong battle. I like battling these ultra Pokemon. It's so cool. All right, in we go. So we do this. This must be the uh, way to the access the generator core. We have three keys right now. I think we have enough keys to unlock it. We're gonna need more people to turn the keys at the same time though. Should I call the others? Yes. Okay, I'll call them now. So you managed to get all, all three keys. Hmm, seems like you're not altogether useless. Oh, can it, will ya? Faulty, you should insert the keys into the console. Alrighty. Wait. In we go. Is there an, a strong ultra Pokemon in here? There doesn't seem to be anything wrong going on here. Oh, it's only to the left though. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh! Oh, what is this? Ayo? It's an ultra Pokemon. It was like a really strong one too. Quickly, you free. Take it down. You're really not going to help at all? Of all the useless... <laughs> Look out! Uh-oh. We're surrounded. Need you two to take down this big one. Xander and I will handle, it, handle its minions. I know you're scared, Xander, but I need you to give it your all. Alright, Foltsy. This guy may look scary, but doesn't stand a chance against us. Let's go! Alright. Oh, that looks so cool. Do you think this could be the evolution of the little light bulb, the final one? Or like a completely new thing? Either way, it looks awesome. Alright, we are gonna go... Oh, did not mean to do that. I wanna go fight and bulldoze. Yeah, don't attack me. It's all good, it's all good. Oh, that was like no damage. Oh, 
Well, that's not too bad. I feel bad I'm going to be taking out Terra's Pokemon, but at least we're doing big damage and we can lower its speed. Another Mud Slap. Okay, teensy bit of damage. I'll come up with a bit more. We should lower its accuracy as well. Nice. This thing is so cool. It's so big. I'm pretty sure I know the uh, it's the prevolution of that. It's got to be that little thing. Little thing grows into such a big dude. Yeah, man, not gonna affect us. Let's keep going. Bulldoze. Bulldoze everything. And this way, we're gonna see Terra's team. That way we can uh, prepare when we battle her at some point. Nice, keep it going. Keep it going. Hey, this next bulldozer will finish you off, and I can maybe. Oh, I don't know if I can catch you. Because I don't think we're only on level 28. I think 27 is our strongest level. Yes, we can't catch it. But I'll take the experience, 100%. Nice, nice, nice. Fire Punch, oh, absolutely. It's got FM1832, the Terrain Extender, and Flux Shards, and two Hyper Potions, not bad. Wait, the lights came on. Does this mean the Piers power has been restored? Seems like that older Pokemon was the cause behind the blackout. What a relief. Whew, I'm exhausted. Let's get out of here and head back to Ro uh, Rooktown. Sounds good. So great work back there, y'all. Now that the power's back on, they should be able to open the league again. Yes, it almost feels like we aren't real trainers until we have at least one league victory. Well, after what we did for the power plant, I reckon we're plenty of real trainers already. Yes, about that. Well, I must admit you three have been not entirely useless. I can't let the news get out about what happened here. If people found out, or tears corp stock, my reputation, I can't let that happen. Therefore, guards, seize them! Wait, what? <laughs> what? Oh, come on, Xander. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Let us go. Hmm. As I recall, the, uh, you three threatened my guards with your Pokemon and forced your way through my security in order to gain access to an off-limits area that contains proprietary Altair Corp technology. I could charge you with any number of crimes. You jerk! After everything we did to help you. That's just how it is in business. I wouldn't expect you commoners to understand. However, I'm not above listening to reason. If you three agree to keep quiet about what really happened here, then I won't have you uh, stripped of your trainer cards and flux braces. But one word of you, and I'll crush your silly little dreams into dust. Am I making myself clear? You little snot-nosed baby-faced liar. I'm not gonna let you tell, what, tell me what to do. It's cute that you think you have a choice. Guards? Take their trainer card and brace her- oh, and her Pokeballs too. Wait, you don't have to do this. Let Terra have her Pokemon. We'll keep quiet about what happened in the power plant. Asta? You can't be serious. These guys are jerks. Yes, and they're more powerful than we are. Remember, Altair Corp doesn't just own the power plant. They also run the Altera Pokemon League. An extremely powerful group. It'd be in our best interest to stay in, the, in their good favor. Hm, at least one of you is sensible. Don't get me wrong, I'm not happy about it either. But this way, we at least get to continue our league challenge. That's right. If they hear anything about the three of you running your mouths, or... Oh. 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 Ah, sweet. Xander, what is the meaning of this? Uh, uh, hey, Dad. I just recently received word of a widespread power outage at the Rook Power Plant. As I recall, I assigned you to be in charge of this sector and to notify me if anything goes wrong. Am I to understand that not only was there a genuine crisis, but that you failed to inform me and instead covered it up? Uh, well, you see, the power's back now, so everything's alright. Yes, I see the power has been restored. However, I have reason to believe that you were largely not responsible for fixing that either. You free. Would you happen to be the ones responsible for defeating the Ultra Pokemon that invaded the Rook Power Plant? Absolutely. I see. It is good to be proud of one's accomplishments. 
In truth, Altair Corp had backup surveillance cameras that placed around the power plant, specifically in the generator room. I saw how you took down the fierce Alter Pokemon. That was certainly no easy feat. Indeed, you have been quite an asset to Altair Corp today. Guards, unhand them, please. Yeah, that's what I thought. Excuse me, I have yet to introduce myself. I am Antares Altair, CEO of Altair Corporation. I believe you're already acquainted with my son, Xander. Heroic such as you've shown today deserve an reward. Hmm, how about this then? Ooh, got a heal module. That's a new technology from Altair Corp. It's a rechargeable model that can fully heal a trainer's Pokemon, nice. I'm sure adventurers, adventurous youths like yourselves will find it useful on your adventure. However, as I'm sure you've learned, the events that happened here today, it'd be quite bad if word got out about precisely what happened. Therefore, I would advise that you not speak widely about today's events. Can I count on you for this? Uh, I understand. We won't talk about what happened. Good. Seems you've got good sense. Altair Corp is always on the lookout for talented young people. You three. I made a strong impression today. Now, Xander. I'm disappointed in you. We need to talk, but not here. Come with me. Yes, Dad. Surely flying a helicopter in a sandstorm is not a great idea. Anyway, <laughs> that was something. I wasn't expecting to run into the CEO of Altair Corp today, let alone get our hands on some new exclusive tech. Still, I don't like how he made us keep quiet. What do you think, Voltsy? Uh, keeping quiet is my strong suit. I don't like it, but... Uh, yeah, I don't like it, but kind of have to. I don't like it either, but we don't really have a choice. Xander might have been making empty threats, but Antares Altair is head of the most powerful family in Altera. It'd be a bad idea to make him upset. Ugh. Sorry, but that little jerk Xander makes me so mad. It's not okay to lord it over other people just because you have more money. It's okay. I've calmed down now. We should head back to Rooktown. Now that the power's back, they should open up the League Arena to challenge us again. That's right. Volta, you come back with, with us to Rooktown? Would you rather stay here and go back on your own? Uh, I'm going to stay here because I want to go back into the power plant. See you at the League Arena. Right, so I want to go over into the area we battled that last altar Pokemon and just check because I didn't get to see if there's any um, things in there. Oh, Pokemon's still spawning here. Cool. Alright, is there anything in here? Oh, hi. Careful, high voltage. Alright, bring it on. Got one Pokemon. Oh, you got the... Uh, oh, it looks so cool. Insulatex. Oh, so cool, dude. I love this. Like, if, oh, if I could have more... I want to put it on the team. I really do, but I just... I don't know who to replace. It's such a cool Pokemon, man. Nice. And then we're going to go for one more board. Oh, that will take you out. Easy. Yeah, do you want to check what's inside this, like, building? Because we explored the whole place apart from this one area. And usually when you go back, you find cool stuff. Uh, dual wing beat. Let's go to ancient power. Uh, hex, yes. Alright, not bad, not bad. So what have we got in here? Aha, see? Heavy duty boots. Got some booties. And we have Full Restore. That's actually not bad at all. And I don't think we've got. Yeah, can't go down there. See, it was worth coming back. Booties and Full Restore. And there's also that item that was by where the guards were blocking off when we first arrived. Last episode, so I want to go grab that. And then we'll get. I like all three of them just like in a line there. That's kind of in sync. Um. Yeah, we're going to go back to Rook Town. We can explore the town, because I haven't explored it. And then we can go take on the League. I think after the League, that'll probably be the end of this uh, chapter one. Which is big sad, man. This game's too good. Way too good. I wanted to end. Ah. Alright, so. We're back in Rook Town. Let's start exploring a little bit. 
and see if we can get any free stuff now that the power's back on. I didn't want to explore when the power's off, just because I'm pretty sure everyone would have, would have said like, oh, there's no power, but with the power back on, maybe they'd be like, hey, oh, it's stuff, but top of the day to ya. Can I interest you in some of our ranches? Fine, go-go milk. 2,000 for a dozen? Yeah, let's go for that. Sounds good. Anything in here? Hey, oh. Well, howdy there, stranger. What brings you to this neck of the woods? Ah, I see, you're one of them trinotypes. My oldest is a lot like you. It was more than five years ago when they set off on a journey of their own. I miss them every day. Oh, sorry, I got caught up in reminiscing. This here's my uh, very own ranch. My family built it with our own hands, we did. Proud to say that our fine go go milk is enjoyed across the region. I had to buy some, have a word with my wife. Already bought some. Thank you very much. Alright, what else have we got? Uh, been living here in Rooktown my whole life. Ain't nothing gonna make me leave. No sandstorm, nor power outage, nor ultra Pokemon. When you got a place to call home, you stick to it. It's kind of how I feel about where I live now, my town. Love my town. <laughs> I ain't leaving. I don't see myself ever leaving. My right, things could change, but right now, happy where I am. Very happy. All right, what are we got in here? So, so you're a trainer challenge in the Altera League? That's the good stuff. We need to have this. Ooh. Thanks, sir. That's an Alpha Flux machine. It's a one-time use item that teaches a Pokemon a new Alpha move. This one raises the chance of landing critical hits. Oh, that sounds kind of good. Are you targeting your opponent's weak points? If so, this item should help. Sweet, thank you. Having that and then using the Flux move, surely we could just like, non-stop get critical hits. That could be broken. That could be very fun and broken. All right, well, we go around this side. Sure, like an item around here, no? No? No hidden item. Kind of feel like that'd be like a perfect place to put one, you know? Oh. All right, so we explored this bit. Let's go up a little bit more. And there's the Pokemon Center. You know the Pokemon gonna fix? They love to help out with construction projects. Thanks to them, we were able to get you, get our power turned back on. Lickety split. I mean, I did the power, turned the power back on. Well, to be fair, Gonna Fix it did actually help, I guess, in that battle, so technically, yes. <laughs> so you've met Nula, have you? She's one of Rooktown's best and brightest. You know she's a real powerful trainer, don't you? Her strategy is to wrestle her opponent down to the ground. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Uh, when Altair Corp closed the mine, it was Nula that negotiated with the higher-ups to make sure everyone got new jobs at the power plant. No one looks out for the people of Rooktown like she does. When I grow up, I want to be as big and strong as Nula. Her biceps are this big. Nula is kind of cool. All right, what else we got? Uh, sup? Ah, this dry climate makes my lips all cracked. Get some lip balm. Yeah, so we explored that area there because that leads to the next place we can't go to, but I'm assuming when chapter two comes out, that's uh, where we're going. Don't want to go into the saloon just yet. It's got the Pokemon. So when the power was out, I nearly had a mental breakdown. Now I have an internet connection again, I'm fine. <laughs> so that's the league up there, right? Yeah. I like to match the colors of Pokeball to the Pokemon inside. It's a little inconvenient, sure, but the aesthetic matters to me. Oh, hello there. Oh. That's kind of cool. Now, what do you do? Pokemon stats. Oh, got some vitamins, but 10,000. So expensive. Hooray, the specialty shops are open. What to buy first? Man, prices here are so expensive. Do they expect us to buy our, our way to victory in the arena? I mean, you can. Oh, you look like a trainer. Are you here to change the league? Now that they've restored power, they're accepting new challenges. Good luck to you. And a Pokemon's effort values or EVs will increase as it battle, battles different opponents. This raises certain stats. You can increase EVs manually by feeding it vitamins or decreases them by feeding it certain berries. Ultimately, the way you raise your Pokemon is up to you. And what do you sell? TMs. Ooh, not bad ones, but again, 10k. Too expensive. But I think I'm gonna end this right here then. Next episode will likely be the final episode until chapter two comes out, unless there's a lot more that I'm missing, but I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.